Today we gather to share in a story, a story of resilience and hope and adventure and time spent together. Perhaps you will even recognize yourself in our special story today. So let's begin. Our story begins not so long ago in a land not so far away. In that time, the people faced a great challenge. A sudden darkness had descended upon the land. And no one knew how long this darkness would last. Whether it be a day, a year, a hundred years, a hundred and one or more. But the people agreed that they must do something in this time of darkness to find hope. So they banded together to share words of wisdom, moments of encouragement, laughter, joy, and tears with one another. And so that is what they did for many, many days. They shared stories, they came together, they supported one another, they cared for one another, and they hoped for the day the light would return. One day, a strange thing happened. They began to notice a change around them. A bright light appeared in the distance. They didn't know where this light had come from, but they knew that they should follow it. As they followed the trail, a second light began to appear pointing them towards a mystical figure in the distance. A third light suddenly appeared as though guiding them to an unknown location far away. What was this light? What was it trying to tell them? Did the light carry a message with it? The people had to find out. And so they ventured closer and closer and closer towards that light. When they arrived at the light, they found a mysterious figure waiting for them. At first, the people were afraid. What would this mysterious figure say? Would she have the words of wisdom to encourage them? The people weren't sure, but they knew they couldn't give up on the light. So they approached the mysterious figure, eager to learn where the light they had seen had come from. As they approached, they noticed that even her cabin seemed to be surrounded in a light that they could not explain. They came near to the mysterious figure and she shared with them their secret. Where does your light come from, they asked. She looked at them, she smiled, <laughs> and she laughed and she said, I'm so glad that you found my sign. I was afraid that you wouldn't notice. I've been waiting for you a long time to ask that question. My light is like the stars. One little star can light up the darkest of nights. But where does it come from? And how does it multiply to the light that you see? Well, of course, it's your light. All of the light that I am surrounded by has come from you. Each act of kindness, each moment we've spent together, all of the joy and laughter and tears that you've shared in your stories over the past 101 days together have brought light to my life and continue to bring light to those around you. In fact, every act of kindness is like turning on a light that spreads and shines for all to see. You see, 
You have the power to light up somebody's life just with the moments that you spend together. And then, she did something no one expected, she said, let's party! We've had 101 episodes together, can you believe it? It's time for us to celebrate. So go ahead, stand up, get ready to let your light shine, and let's sing together. You know the words. to light up the dark. As a reminder, tomorrow and Thursday during arrival, yeah, you probably guessed it, there's going to be some glow sticks waiting for you. And if you're not able to join us in person for learning this week, there will be glow sticks available when you pick up your bags for the autism conference this Saturday. Remember, your light can light up the darkest of moments. You are valuable, you are smart, you are loved, you are unique, and I'm so glad to celebrate 101 Moments with You. See you next time. Bye.